Some of my favorite types of videos are ones where somebody comes to me with an issue or mentions an issue and I help them solve them. And this one is no different. One of my friends had commented on Twitter saying that they wish they had the flashback feature that they have on PlayStation on their computer. And today we're gonna go over a few options on how you can do that. The best part is most people will have these already on their computers and ready to use. They just have to learn how to use them for both flashback and full recordings. The nice thing about these things being native or already baked into Windows or your graphics card is that they're extremely easy to set up, just like today's sponsor. Owned Pro is a plugin for OBS Studio that allows you to start streaming in seconds. It includes overlays, stream event lists, stream labels, chatbot, copyright free music, and you can join for free or you can add the Pro plan, which gives you over 410 premium overlays and alerts and 24 seven customer service support. So if you wanna sign up now and get access to all of these great features, go ahead and click the link down in the description below and you can use code CADEC for 50% off a yearly subscription. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the Xbox Game Bar. Now I've done an entire video on the Xbox Game Bar. I'll leave a link in the video description below for that. But the Game Bar is an awesome tool. I'm really happy what Microsoft has done with this thing. And one of the really cool parts about it is the native recording and capturing features. First things first, you're going to want to make sure that your game bar is enabled. So if you go ahead and head to your settings, go to the gaming section and make sure that the Xbox game bar is enabled. This is super important. It's both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um, if you've updated Windows 10 at any point since 2020, you should have the game bar um, on your system. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and go to this capture section and here you can adjust a lot of the settings. So you can adjust how long the flashback recording lasts. Um, in order to use flashback recording, you have to have record in the background while I'm playing a game on. There's another area that you can turn this on and off and I will show you that where that is in a second. You can maximize recording length for the actual full recording. You can change your audio, you can change audio quality, and you can change video quality and frame rates, which is awesome. Okay, so using the game bar is super simple. While in a game, or even while using an application, press Windows G, and you're gonna go ahead and open up your game bar. Now, what you see here may be different than mine because it depends on what widgets you have open. The most important widget here is gonna be the capture one. So that's this one right here. From here, you can take a screenshot, you can do your flashback recording, you could do full recording. You can also enable and disable your microphone. If you wanna change in any of those settings that I mentioned earlier, you just click the setting icon, you go down to capturing. In order to use flashback, you have to make sure that this is checked and you can change the way that the audio is recording. So let's go ahead and we're gonna note that our flashback recording is Windows Alt G. We're gonna go ahead and press Windows G. Let's go ahead and drive around, smash through some things here. Um, just do some general terrible driving. Now I'm gonna press Windows, Alt, and G. You're gonna see that it said Windows clip recorded. I'm gonna press Windows, G again. Sometimes it'll take a little bit to appear in the gallery here. If you open up the File Explorer, it usually appears very quickly and you can go ahead and open this one up and you'll be able to see my video. You're gonna see the mouse cursor because I was moving it around on the screen. And we've got our full 30 second clip here in 60 frames per second. Very quick and very easy to use. If we close that up and we go back here, it should now appear in the gallery here and you can view it right in here as well. So that's awesome built directly into the overlay. Um, super, super useful. It gives you a bunch of information here. This is an awesome tool. You could do full recordings here as well. And the Xbox Game Bar is usually the one that I recommend to everybody because it doesn't matter what graphics card you have. Now we're gonna talk about the graphics card side of things. So your graphics card, whether you have an Nvidia graphics card or an AMD graphics card, will have their own version of this. So on Nvidia, it's called Shadow Play. And on AMD, it's called ReLive. Now they're very similar. I don't have an AMD card to show you ReLive, but I will show you Shadow Play. And what that allows you to do is again, it allows you to do full recordings and it allows you to do flashback recordings. Um, they're great solutions. 
One downside is that they sometimes are a little bit more finicky. Sometimes the hotkeys won't work. Um, but on the plus side, usually their quality is a little bit better and they have a lower performance overhead because the NVENC one, especially with NVIDIA, NVENC encoders are incredible. They do a really good job, very high quality, but also very efficient so that the file sizes aren't huge. So in order to do that, you're gonna have to head over to your GeForce Experience. I'm not a big fan of GeForce Experience, but you have to use it in order to use this. And you're gonna go ahead and turn on the in-game overlay. Once you got that on, you can check settings here as well. You can take a look at the HUD layout. Um, you can take a look at a whole bunch of things. You can check your recordings. So as you can see here, instant replay is on. This has to be on. This is just like the feature on the Xbox One where this is allowing it to record a cache in the background. If this is off, you will be able to do full recordings, but you can't do your flashback. So just keep that in mind. Um, but when you go to recordings, you can change your location. You can see all of the hotkeys here. So Alt F10 is to do your flashback recording. Um, and then when we go down to video capture, just like on the Xbox game bar, you can change your length. Um, you can change your quality, your frame rate, your resolution, and your bit rate. So if you bump up the bit rate, it's gonna give you a much larger file size. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and turn Instant Replay on and see if we can get it to work. So we're gonna go into our game. We're gonna drive around, do the same kind of situation as before. We're gonna press Alt F10. Now, I'm gonna press Alt Z and pull that up. Let's see if it worked. And it did not. So this is one of the things that I'm saying is that sometimes the hotkeys don't necessarily work with shadow play and even relive it's a little bit more finicky and that's why i tend to like the game bar one but if you do want higher quality um, and more efficient uh video captures then this is usually the way to go you can get a little bit more fancy you can change up the hotkeys and see if that'll help fix it for me it's a hit or miss sometimes it depends on the game i'm using and that's why i tend to stick to the game bar when recommending it to other people um, it's a lot more consistent because it's baked directly into Windows. It is a much more stable um, and just works more often than the NVIDIA Shadowplay or the AMD Relive. But they, all three of them are great options. Um, they're, they have very minimal performance overhead, all of them. Um, they work very well. They do a great job for both recording and the flashbacks. And this allows you to, you know, share those moments with other people. If you've ever done something in a video game and been like, wow, man, I wish I was recording that. That was awesome. Now you have that feature really, you know, built in. If you put a long enough timer on there, if you make it a five minute clip, you can just go ahead and just press your hotkey, record those last five minutes, trim it to where you want it to be, basically create your own clips. So I hope this video helped you. I hope it helped you capture your future gaming moments. Uh, if you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will try to get to them all as quickly as possible. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Rojo Son of Dojo, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do want to check out my Xbox Game Bar video, I will leave it right up here. It's a very good video. Xbox Game Bar is an awesome tool. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.